Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group A second round match between Yatsik and Le Peg. Um, Yatsik with Orcs, Le Peg with Undead. Yatsik won the toss, chose to receive. Here is the table, you can see he won his first game. If he wins this game, he will qualify for the knockout stage. Um, Le Peg with a draw against Kfog. It You know, drawing sucks, but at least it was against you know, maybe the best player in the world. So if he can get a draw or a win here, he'll be pretty happy. If he gets a loss, he's not eliminated because, you know, other things can happen. But yeah, Jacek will definitely be looking to book his place in the second round with this match. Um, I can tell you, you know, how they qualified here. Jacek did qualify through the Season 4 playoffs, I remember, he's Polish, and Le Peg is French, qualified on the PlayStation through the KGVM World Championship Qualifier. So there you go. And if we look at the teams, it's a pretty standard Orc team with four guard biggins, a leader thrower, which lets him get the troll and a 12th player and the Apo. So I actually quite like the, I, I, well, let's see, I quite like it. I don't hate the leader thrower because I found with my troll build, it was a bit light, right? It was 11 players or it had, um, or it didn't have an Apo. So now he gets the Apo by giving up the re, by giving up the reroll and relying on leader. I think it's honestly better just not to take the troll, um, to be quite honest. And then the, the this is a good undead build for orcs with having two guard mummies. Tackle white is pretty standard, but that's wasted. Guard white and a block and a wrestle ghoul. Right. Let's see what happens. Brilliant coaching. Draw. Neither team went to it. Absolute. Pinned him back to the end zone there. It's going to take like four turns to cross the halfway line. At best. So this is going to be a tough drive for Yatsik. For sure, this is going to be a tough drive. He's got to worry about the the ghouls coming around the outside. Go straight for the pickup. Before making a two dice block with a troll, that has to be a mistake, right? You have to have... Uh, you've got to block with the uh, lineman first over here. And get this and make this a three dice. Do not like moving in with him at all. If anything, I want to like, you know, keep him out. Stop these ghouls coming around the outside as much as possible. Yeah, that's quite good. He can kind of connect a little bit. And the guard does go in to try and turn this corner. Yeah, there's, I, we are moving this guy in. I would definitely want him on the outside. Maybe he wants to invite the ghouls around the side, but doesn't seem an invitation you'd want to make. Doesn't come with the other ghoul. Sensible, but I wouldn't have I wouldn't have hated it. Where was he? He was about here, wasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he could have cut the corner. Yeah, it was a bit dodgy. So the problem now is if he brings back people, which you know, like th this guy coming around would have made it a bit harder. So I didn't, I didn't hate coming around with one or two ghouls there. Because now it's very easy just to run to this side, get away from these ones. And uh, But now, of course, the undead can try and get in here. They've got a lot of space here. Still keep causing problems. Dub skulls doesn't re-roll with three. I 
Yeah, this is exactly what I do. Get the guard in here and blitz this guy and come down with that side as well. Though, probably should have just moved these first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, of here, get him in. Move these two around first. Safe moves. Ooh, I, would have, I would have liked both of these further forward. Definitely further forward. A million percent further forward. Oh, dub skulls. So, the peg does re-roll. Or like this guy could have gone there or something. I don't. Yeah, maybe maybe this guy should have gone here, right? To make it harder to just uh, blitz and then come through there. So maybe this guy should have been here. This this tackle was misplaced last turn, right? The tackle should have been inside, so he could have made that blitz. A subtle. A subtle but important uh, thing. Try to keep your tackle as central as possible all the time, basically. Huge dodge. Covers versus a wrestler. Dodging biggins. This is a problem, right? He's having to dodge everybody back just to get to the LOS by turn four. Three D, just for Kalon. Doesn't get him over though. And now I think this is okay to kind of reset and get in front of the ball now. Like you, you tried a bit of disruption. You know, stop the stabilization phase. So now just protect your ghouls. He is only at the halfway line after turn four. You can maybe just like you know get in the way enough to stop him right now. Oh, I hate this before he's blocked. He could have just blocked. No, he got blocked. 2D. 2D with mighty blow. 2D with mighty blow. You dodged. Nah. I guess what he was doing, he was trying to be greedy, wasn't he? What he was doing with that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then he blocks him using the guard. And then he blocks as well. So he was trying to be greedy and get uh, two knockdowns. But I think he probably should have just, you know, tried to get this one. And then do the three plus. But it's fair enough, isn't it? It's greedy, but it's, you know, it's like higher risk, higher reward. So, like, it is, it's, you can't say it's wrong. There is, there is a reward. Like, if there was no reward for doing that, then yes, it's wrong. But, you know, he could have, it could have led to an extra block. The problem is, this is just getting punched immediately. And how bad the fail is. And it was a pretty bad fail going for that. Blitzing just to make a safe block. Interesting. He does only have three rerolls. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have to do Ah, oh, but he also gets him ahead. So it's not just for a safe block. He does get it for the red. The problem here is the mummy, right? It could be a rush to hit, so you want the other guard on him. Yep. Does follow on the mummy. Which is a bit of a concern. But I guess if he doesn't, then the mummy could blitz and maybe face the ball. So it is to be sure. Ta 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 ta. -ta. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Could have moved uh, these two guys, maybe. Sensible. Sensible, sensible moves first, you know. I wouldn't have hated keeping somebody around here to stop the reverse, maybe. But, uh... Yeah, okay, so by not following the mummy, that is pretty strong, but maybe this guy could have been here. I don't know, yeah, you want to you stop against pushing through here. Oh, he's got two zombies. 
Maybe this is a little bit better here. But this is completely normal to put in there. I, this this was the problem that that Yatsik was going to face right with the way the kick went. It takes him four turns to battle up to halfway, and now he's got to try and somehow, you know, get the penetration upfield, downfield, whichever way you want to call it. Um, it's not. It's not automatic, is it? But it looks like he's passed the mummies, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good to be past the mummies. I guess we rush with this mummy to base the ball and then try and put more stuff behind the ball, but it's not great, is it? Oh, he has to re-roll it as well. This is what I figured he would do. But I'm not sure how good it is. But that's kind of the move I'd expect. But the problem is, like, if you don't support him, he just gets he just gets beaten off easily. And if you do support him, then you're supporting him the wrong side of the ball. Fails the one in nine. Oh, that would have been a lovely pow, because it would have followed him, you know, next to the troll and based the zombie as well. So now he has to blitz without block. A blockless block! But he does get to push forward here quite a lot. And after one dice the mummy, yeah, just a two plus. Quite easy. And not guarding around the front side. He did kind of have to move the big and first, right? If he wanted to guard against that. Oh my god, game. Pause, will you? One, two, three, four, five. He would have had to double rush first, right? But then also, then he's really up, then he's really exposed to this this way. So he actually can't do that. So yeah, probably in there is best. So in that case, you move the ball first, and yeah, yeah, he, he does need him here, doesn't he? Because this is just so fragile. Even though he's strength four, this is so fragile that he has to have this big in here. He has no choice about where he can go here. Oh, or, or there. Okay, I mean, e either way works, right? Either way, it's same same difference. He just can't make this easy to move. He can still uphill it, which isn't crazy to just uphill this without block. And then that gives you two dice on the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush. So he can he can dodge around and get two dice on the ball. With rushes, but he is down to one reroll. The uphill's pretty a pretty brave thing to go for, isn't it? I'm not sure people would go for that. Just goes for the one D on the ball. And wrestles him. Gets the wrestle. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Runs all the way around with a blocker. Flip me. That's pretty brutal, isn't it, for Yatsik? And, uh, oh. He can maybe, maybe do things here. I guess he's got to try and pow this ghoul. Yeah, if he powed that pool, that if he powed the, if oh my god, I can't speak. If he had powed the ghoul, then this big one would have been free to do something. I guess to blitz this ghoul would have been the play. Now he has to dodge to one dice it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Do this one day first, in case you power it so you'd have two dice on this. I don't know. 
4 plus pickup goes for the dodge. Gets the dodge, more rushes. This stun actually becomes amazing and he dodges him out there. Wow. So yeah, we're just gonna try to 1D and then 1D the ball. Oh, sorry, 2D and then 1D the ball. Oh! Oh no. I think what he had to do. Oh my god, the really? The timer bug and a replay? What he had to do here was put the zombie in there and block him and see if he pows, right? And if he pows, you can pow him to there. And then you could dodge this ghoul for the assist. And then two dice blitzing him is really good, isn't it? Like, it's so much better than one dice blitzing him. So, I think that would be... Also, this, this guy's, like, not doing anything right now. But it sounds like he's running out of time. Somebody was running out of time. So, uh, you know, maybe he panicked, but that would have definitely been the play. Zombie in. See if, just see if you get the power. Well, I think it's definitely the play anyway. Again, that's just my opinion, isn't it? It's adding more rolls before you do one day, but I mean, making it two D is really, really good. And I think it's, I think it has to be the right play. Turn eight. It's still a rush, isn't it? Who gets it? That was quite an intense drive for Yatsik. Pretty, pretty brutal kick. Loads of turns to get the ball up and still managed to drive it home, so well played to him for sure. And now he's not going to lose this game, is he? Um, but Le Peg might be able to make it a draw. I guess I mean he might lose it, right? There could be a there could be a timeout. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go, prophetic Jim. He did set up for the timeout. To be fair, so fair play to the peg for setting up for the timeout. Maybe Yatsik should have set up to stop the timeout, right? Like just set up in chevrons or. On like you know one of these lines, some people just set up lo loads of people in a line on on one of these lines, don't they? But um, oh, well, he did a blockless block. It didn't really achieve much, and uh, but he's got three scoring threats, but a really deep ball. No rerolls are really costing him here. Gets the knockdown, gets the stun, gets in front with tackle, gets guard in as well, and this is looking pretty much locked down, even if the peg does get the ball, pass it to the ghoul, hand off, or with like no, no with no rerolls, plus he can bring this guy in as well. Oh no, he should have been in here, right? Facing him. This one should surely have been in here facing the school. I guess it doesn't matter too much, like this is ridiculously low odds. But you've got to go for it. So. Yeah, I'm okay with this blockless block now, right? Because it's so, the odds are so low, you might as well just try and smash something with my e blow. I think that's very reasonable. Oh wait, he's not even trying for the one turn. The one turn, I'm not even trying for the score. Just blitzing with mighty blow, but he's got a reserve, so this isn't doing anything. Uh, hate that. Can he even pass to anybody now? Or can he pass to the? Can he pass to this guy? Okay, maybe I don't hate it then. Because if he needs a six anyway to pass it to the ghoul, he might as well just pass it direct to the white 
Errata, errata. Passing so rubbish now, you might as well just do long bombs. <laughs> so stupid, isn't it? It's stupid but true. The passing is so bad. Often, those kind of relays that you would use to like make, you know, like a three plus or a four plus pass, and then a handoff. That four plus pass is now a five plus pass. So you might as well just straight up long bomb it. It's crazy the nerf passing, absolutely crazy. Yeah, but you know, the people making the rules don't really know anything about Blood Bowl, so it is what it is. So there we go. Um, so, right, still 1 0 to Yatsik. Oh, Dub Skulls doesn't re roll it. Has to kind of conserve re rolls right on offense, but. We could see, and we don't see severe pressure. I would have liked to have seen. I guess, could, yeah, you can blitz this one with tackle. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Take it back. I like this. I like this from Yancey. Yeah, but I do think he could have pressured a little bit harder. But not much, to be fair. No, this is This is probably perfect. I'm just a right ring, I'm just walking it down. I'm just walking it down step by step. Too absolutely perfect. <laughs> what a turn from the troll, right? One one mummy dub skulls against him, so then he gets to two D the other the other mummy. Absolutely incredible. You know, maybe he should have re-rolled that dub skull. Who knows? Let's get to this block for free. means that you know like if you're gonna do that you probably want to base this one as well right because then he wouldn't have that completely free and I would have but I would have also had this guy actually I'd have had both of these on him oh tackle okay will we see the orcs go hyper Aggro this turn. No. No, nope, cheeky cast. Oh, I thought he was going to block with the big un and then hit the mummy. Blitzing the mummy. Oh, this guy already activated. I didn't realize this guy had already activated. Okay, well, in that case, it's completely reasonable. Gets the knockdown. Yeah, we're definitely just blitzing him and moving forward. Well, not really moving forward. Moving up to the line. Oh, re-roll the one in nine? Yeah, I don't know why this dodge failure comes up. I think that's a little bit desperate to re-roll that. I don't think he had to at all. Maybe... Frustration, turn four panic. I don't know if it was panic or frustration or desperation, what it was, but um, I didn't think it was that critical to reroll that. Zombie stuns itself, well done, zombie. Surely gonna blitz this guy with tackle for a 75% knockdown instead of 55 you'll do nothing blitzer does get the uh, 2d this time 
Stick the troll on this guy. Maybe the mummy could attack the... Like, maybe the lineman could attack the mummy there. Full pal. Maybe should have dodged this guy last turn. Like, I get why he didn't. But maybe should have. Finding it very hard to advance now, isn't it? So it's turn 12. He's just balls exposed. Blitzing him. Moving backwards. This is pretty good for Yatsik. Very narrow. Yeah, so it gets out a little bit, so he's deep, so he had to get out, rather than being... ...like that. <laughs> like that. I like, mean, he's already narrow, so like, if he puts him there, he's just still narrow, right? Like, and if he comes back, he's, he's got to try and increase the width because he can't. Like, just staying, he's, he's still just as deep, even if he's a... Uh... Oh, wow! A 181. And that actually opens up the field majestically to uh, blitz down here. Oh, wow! And block down there. Get both mummies in, supporting each other. Probably could have already done that. You got a rush. One, two, three. How was that a rush? What? It looked like he rolled a dice, didn't he? But he just didn't. Like, it sounded like there'd been a dice roll. But they just hadn't. This tackle looks a little bit ominous. Oh. KO'd. So. This is... Not great <laughs> for the orcs, is it? There's a lot. Three players on one. This guy's moved over. That, you know, maybe there was a safe move to be made before he made that block last turn that, that failed. Maybe he got himself into this a little bit. Obviously very unlucky to one in 81, but again, that's why, like, every single turn, if you make these safe moves first, then when it comes down, when it comes right down to it, the odd safe move could have made a huge difference, right? If this guy had moved there first last turn, then all of a sudden he can come right in here this turn and stuff. So like it can make a huge difference having done a safe move first. Oh, well, you can just make all the dodges and rushes and uh, it'll be fine. Gonna block him, it's a two plus. Last reroll gone, gets the two. And removes him. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Apple works. Mr. Mr. Throw. Was it because of his armor nine plus? It was. Honestly, the problem with giving him leader means he has to field him on defense, right? If this if he didn't have leader. He could have been fielding this lineman who wouldn't have been, uh, wouldn't have even had his armor broken. Wow, bunch of dice rolls there from the peg, huge dice rolls. It's a big pal. Doesn't have anything really in front though, does he? Double rush, yeah. Has to re-roll that, has to get something back. And 
I guess you can 1D. I can even be... Oh, no, I hate this. Hate that. Oh, I, I hate that so much. Like... <laughs> what if you roll a 1? You can just stand there, guaranteed, and make it a 1D, right? And then a 4 plus, you'll, ha you'll have 2D. Whereas by going there, okay, you base this mummy, but he's you know he's got two turns left. He ain't doing anything with his mummy. I guess he's screening this white. Yeah, he is screening this white, but this white is a long way away as well. I kind of hate this. I think you go in there four plus the troll, and then try to two D the mummy. But again, right in real life, these guys have been playing for like an hour and a half or whatever stressed to death it's okay to make the odd mistake but that looks like a mistake to me gets the push which lets him put tackle on the school no rerolls for the peg he's just going to uphill this uh this guy to score Wrestle, nice, can do with the ball. Thirty percent to fail, but he doesn't, and he scores. So now it is a two-turn chance for Yatsik. He does have a passer, <laughs> which helps with a chance. The troll was actually is actually been great for the orcs this game, hasn't it? What a difference! Like it would have been a lot harder for them without the troll in the fight. I don't recall it going stupid ever, really. A blitz! <laughs> wow. I wonder if it was worth having the ghouls in front in case of a blitz. Instant removal. <laughs> that way I have found it. Um, Mr. Throw is not the best, is he? He's not the best. He has animosity old teammates. He's movement five. But, you know, it's it's better than nothing. That's what they tell me. I actually don't like that, right? He could have he could have blocked with this one, and then this guy could have gone there. Oh, no, because then he's in the way. Yeah, he's got to do with him so that he can get through. Gets the big pow. Powdy howdy. Really only got one scoring threat, so it has to rush with him. Probably maybe he's even double rush with him, honestly. Yeah, I kind of I kind of liked ghouls in the front line, right, rather than the second line. Because he can only blitz right like he's gonna be able to blitz one. Um, whatever you put there. So you might as well have ghouls closer to make it hard for him to defend the ball. I guess then you could argue he'll tag all of your ghouls and then it's harder for you. But then you've, then you've got the zombies behind to do things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, he hasn't got any rerolls though, has he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's like three rushes to 2D the ball. You probably are better off just playing it safe and trying to hit the receiving threats. Yeah, without a re-roll. Without a re-roll, you've just got to um, you just got to play it safe, haven't you? Him as well, good. 
No, starts with a dodge and a blitz. It's not what I would have done at all. I would have also just long bombed it. Because the thing is, oh. like his P is a three plus, right? So this is this going to be like a four or a five? That was a four. But like, this is the thing, right? Passing so bad now that I kind of feel that just dodging him and then blitzing him and dodging away and getting in the end zone and long bombing it direct isn't that bad. Like, I feel like... <laughs> because normal passing is so bad, that's increased the value of long bombing, which sounds stupid, but there you go. Anyway, I think... Wait, the mummy... The mummy intercepted it. <laughs> the mummy intercepted it. There you go. So, I didn't even register that. I just you know, saw that he hasn't scored, but uh, pretty funny mummy intercept. Um, so there you go, a draw between Jacek and Lepeg. So I don't have the updated, the updated table, but I can show you one at the start of the match. So that... Keeps it pretty much wide open, right? Yatsik's on four, the pegs on two, KFOG on one, Blue Max on zero. So still all to play for in Group A. Congrats to both, well played. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.